Okay, guys, so number three from the homework. Uh, it says you're fencing a rectangular area for a garden. You have only 150 feet of fence. You want the length of the garden to be at least 40 feet. You want the width of the garden to be at least 5 feet. Write the inequalities and show me the graphing calculator. Okay, so obviously we're not going to show the graph in the calculator. For this homework, it was just the inequalities. I need to designate which one's X and which one's Y, so I need my two variables. Now notice here it says you want the length of the garden to be at least this, the width to be at least that, and they're talking about a rectangular garden. So if you have your garden here and you want the length to be this and the length to be that, the width to be that. So obviously we are talking about inequalities for the length and the width of the garden. Okay? So length and width. I'm gonna be I'm going to put X as the length and Y as the width. Now you could have chosen them backwards and that's still okay. So at the end of the video I'll just tell you how it would look if you chose them backwards. As long as you kept them consistently the same letter for each, it's still fine. You still get the same answer. Okay, so from here now I have to go back to the problem and see where I can get my information. The first sentence doesn't have any keywords for me, and it doesn't have any numbers, except that it's a rectangular area. So I already wrote my rectangle. I already extracted all the information I could from that one, so I don't need it anymore. The next sentence tells me that I have 150 feet of fence, okay? So because I'm fencing my garden, I know that for a fence, what I need to do is use the material to go all around. So this sentence tells me that I am doing perimeter and that I only, and this specify the word only, have 150 feet of this material of this fence that I'm going to put around my garden. So that means that for an inequality for this, it means that the perimeter has to be 150 feet, it can be exactly 150 feet, but it could also be less. Okay, since they're telling you that the, the width and the length, it, they're at least or at least. So that means they could vary in value. So the perimeter could be 150 feet exactly. It cannot be more than that because you don't have enough material for it. You only have 150 feet of fence. So you cannot use more than that. But you could use the same amount or less. So that means that the perimeter over here, what it's telling me, is that it can be less than or equal to 150 feet. Okay? Then it says you want the length of the garden to be at least 40 feet. So here is my variable length, which was x. My keyword is at least. Remember, at least means that or more. It's a minimum. So my sign would be this and then 40 feet. Okay, so now I have my first inequality from that sentence. Length, which is x, has to be at least, that means that or greater, than 40 feet. Okay? And I have my next one, which says the width, that's my other variable, which was y, of the garden has to be, again, at least, so that means that or greater, it's a minimum, 5 feet. So now I might have my next inequality. Okay? So I'm missing the one for the perimeter. Now remember, I cannot just write perimeter is less than or equal to 150. Instead of perimeter, I have to use my variables in this one. So then I think back, okay, so if this is uh, x and this is y, how do I get perimeter if this is x and this is y? Well, I need to add all the sides, right? x plus y plus x plus y. Or, like your shortcut formula tells you, 2x plus 2y has to be less than or equal to 150. And those are my inequalities for number three.